Fix 1. Make sure iPhone, Wi-Fi and router are both on. You can turn on the Wi-Fi on iPhone by tapping Settings Wi-Fi, and then switch on it. To join in a specific Wi-Fi, simply tap the name of the Wi-Fi network and enter the passwords. And if you are too far from the router, you will not get a good signal. So please make sure you are within the range. Fix 2. Restart your iPhone. Rebooting iPhone should be an effective and easy way to fix iPhone won't connect to Wi-Fi network issue. 1. Press and hold the sleep or wake button to bring out the slide to power off slider. 2. Drag the slider to the right to turn off your iPhone. 3. When iPhone screen turns black, you can long press the sleep or wake button again to turn it on. Fix 3. Reset network settings. Resetting the network settings might solve most of iPhone not connecting to Wi-Fi problems. 1. Go to Settings General Reset Reset Network Settings. 2. Then you might enter the passcodes and confirm your action. Fix 4. Restart modem and router. If iPhone still cannot connect to Wi-Fi after rebooting iPhone, you can try to restart the modem and router. 1. Simply unplug the telephone wire and power cord from the router. 2. Then poke the reset button from the back of the router with a needle to reset the router. 3. Wait for several seconds, then plug them back. Then after a few minutes, try to connect to Wi-Fi again. Fix 5. Forget Wi-Fi network. If you still cannot make your iPhone connected to the Wi-Fi network, you have been asked to re-enter the passwords continuously even though you have entered the correct ones many times, you can try to forget the Wi-Fi network and then reconnect it. 1. Go to Settings Wi-Fi. 2. Tap the info icon I, which is located next to the network name that you want to forget. 3. Tap forget this network and confirm your action. 4. Then you might try again to connect to the Wi-Fi by entering the passwords. Fix 6. Renew lease. Please note that after renewing the lease, you might get a new IP address from your router, and you might be also able to connect to Wi-Fi again. 1. Go to settings Wi-Fi. 2. Tap on I icon next to the network name. 3. Tap Renew Lease. Fix 7. Turn off location services for Wi-Fi networking. Sometimes if you turn on the location service for Wi-Fi networking, it will affect the iPhone Wi-Fi connection. To get rid of this factor, just turn it off. 1. Go Settings Privacy Location Services System Services. 2. On System Services page, just switch off the Wi-Fi networking. Fix 8. Update software on iPhone. If there is problem of the iOS software, it might lead to different issues containing the Wi-Fi connection problem. So you need to make sure that you have installed the latest iOS version on your iPhone. 1. Turn on the cellular data on your iPhone. 2. Go to Settings General Software Update. 3. If there is an available software update, simply tap Download and Install to install the latest iOS software on your iPhone. Fix 9. Update iOS version with iTunes. If you cannot update the software wirelessly on your iPhone, you can update your iPhone with iTunes. And also please ensure you have installed the latest iTunes on your computer. 1. Make your iPhone connected to your computer with a USB cord, then run iTunes on PC. 2. Click the iPhone icon on the top of iTunes window, then click Summary option on the left. 3. Click the check for update. 4. If there is an available new iOS update, just click Download and Install or click Update. Fix 10. Factory reset your iPhone via iTunes. After trying the above solutions, if you still cannot connect to Wi-Fi network, maybe it's time to restore your iPhone to factory settings with iTunes. But please note that all data and settings on your iDevice will be erased, so please make a backup before the process. 1. Connect your iPhone to computer and launch the latest iTunes on PC. 2. Click the iPhone icon on the top of iTunes window, and then click Summary option. 3. On Summary page, click Restore iPhone and confirm your action. Then iTunes will erase all data and settings on your iPhone, and install the latest iOS software on your iPhone. 4. After the process, your iPhone will be restarted. Then you might follow the screen to set up your iPhone as new.